Hey everybody, I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science for Arizona Science Center. As you can see, again, I'm not at the Science Center, I'm in the kitchen doing a little kitchen science. Or Today's a little different because it's not necessarily kitchen items, but definitely things that you can find around your house to keep kids busy and engage in science all summer long. So uh, this one's going to be really fun, you might have guessed it, we are doing rockets today. Plus, this is really fun because these amazing, awesome rocket flingers are great to start talking about the Apollo anniversary. It's the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing this summer. So just a lot of fun, super cheap, super easy. Let's check it out. All right, so you see this rocket. This is what we've got. It's made out of just a foam pool noodle, some duct tape, um, some leftover cardboard, and some rubber bands. So really, really easy. Really, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. All right, so first things first, um, you want your materials. You wanna start with a, a foam noodle, so something just like this. Um, if you've got one around, great. Um, if it's crumbling, I probably wouldn't suggest it. Try getting a new one. Um, they're really, really cheap right now. Uh, at, you can get, pick them up at your local dollar store. Um, I think I got these, I don't remember where I got this one, at a craft store probably. Uh, keep a couple around just for fun because you never know what kind of projects you're gonna do. All right, so other things you need. Definitely the foam pool noodle. You're gonna need um, a kitchen knife or a utility knife to cut it. So utility knife, um, some scissors for later. Uh, you're definitely gonna want some duct tape. You're gonna wanna make sure you've got rubber bands. All right, you have to have a bamboo skewer of some kind. If not, um, if you don't have any skewers, then um, a screwdriver will work really well too. Um, and that's gonna be to push the rubber bands through and that will make much more sense later. All right, the other thing that you're gonna need, because when we make our rockets, we're gonna need fins. So uh, having some sort of paper board, like a leftover cereal box, that's gonna be exactly what we need. All right, so let's start fresh here. We'll move everything aside. First things first, you wanna take about 10 inches of your pool noodle um, and cut it down. So use a utility knife or a kitchen knife. I'm gonna use a kitchen knife since I've got one here. I'll just jump over. Um, so a really good serrated knife is gonna cut through this foam quite nicely. And you can guess about 10 inches, about the length of your forearm is what's gonna work, um, or work well anyway. And you can uh, practice with different sizes. But you wanna go ahead and just uh, use an adult's help, cut right through it, so the kitchen knife is excellent for that. Set aside the rest to use for later, but here we go. We've got the body of our rocket right here. All right, next. Um, right about an inch down, so about an inch down on the foam. You're gonna wanna use your skewer next, and we're gonna push a hole all the way through to both sides. So like I said, about an inch down, all the way through, so that you've got one end coming out the other side, straight across that gap. All right, and then pull it out. And just remember where those are, because now you're gonna take your two rubber bands, you're definitely going to need one rubber band and push it all the way through those holes you just made all the way through push your rubber band through push your rubber band through all the way to the other side did i get it oh i even think i missed so here we'll, we'll try one more time I, did, I got it halfway through and not to the other side bam there we go all right, so you're gonna pull your skewer back out, but you're gonna hold on to your rubber band. So now you've got a rubber band running through both sides and it's gonna be straight through the center right there. All right, so you're gonna hold on to that because you're gonna need it. Um, and at this point, you wanna take your second rubber band and you're gonna loop it through kind of like you're pulling a, a luggage tag. So pull into the center here. And again, you wanna make sure that you don't pull that internal rubber band all the way out, but you are gonna need slack access to it like this and then pull one end through the other of the this second ran rubber band that you're using so hold on to those the ends on both sides here and then pull it nice and tight because that's going to be uh, your flinging engine if you will where you get all your your energy from so now take your the ends that are sticking out the sides you're going to take those and you're going to you know loop it around the top of your rocket here around the foam noodle see so right around the side all the way around the top there you go and that's going to keep it nice and secure and you should be able to pull on it and feel that it even is feels a little bit tighter already 
All right, so our foam rocket flinger is halfway there. You're gonna next secure these ends with duct tape. If you've got some really decorative duct tape, that works great. If you've just got regular duct tape, that's fine too. You could honestly probably even use some good stickers. I've got some silver duct tape that we're gonna use today. So here we go. And just wrap it all the way around to keep that rubber band base secure onto the foam. There we go, I just ripped it with my hands. We'll make it nice and smooth here. Smooth it out just a little bit. Cool, see, super easy. All right, so now we've got our rocket base. We've got our taped on rocket pull. If you want to, try just as it is, um, but the last piece is to put on some fins, some guiding fins. Now, if you've got some leftover cardboard uh, paperboard from your favorite cereal box, um, that's perfect. And this is where you're gonna take your scissors. Uh, and you can freehand this if you want. You could draw it out if you wanna be exact. Depends on how you feel. And you're gonna take a square cardboard and you're gonna make eh, probably three or four fins. I'll leave that up to you because you're gonna, it's an experiment. You're gonna to wanna to try out a couple different options. So um, I'm just gonna make, let's see if I can do this. I'm just gonna cut these in half this way and make a couple of triangle shaped fins. Now, if you don't wanna do triangles, I make them all about the same size, but you can try different shapes and see what happens. Might work for you. Cut this one here, voila. All right, now I officially have four fins. You're gonna hold them up to the bottom. And then uh, as you hold them up to the bottom, you're gonna just test the length. And this is where you're gonna use your utility knife and you're gonna score, not all the way through, but just some light lines into your foam. And you should be able to fit your fin into that slice you just made, and we'll off fit them in there. So do that four times. And you have a foam flinger rocket. Now, here's a chance for us to talk about the science. Uh, Watch how it flies. This is all about projectile motion. Now, uh, the engine, normally with a rocket, uh, we get thrust from propellants and fuel. Here, you're getting all the power out of this rubber band, that stored energy. So as you pull back on the foam piece of the rocket and hold on to the end of the rubber band with your finger, you can feel that stored energy here in the rubber band. It's pulling on your finger as you're pulling forward. So uh, watch as we release. Test and see how far it'll go. Watch the shape. What happens if you change the length of the body? What happens if you change the shape or number of the fins? You can do anything you want with this fun experiment. Super safe, of course, don't point it at anybody's face, but have a lot of fun with it. If you like this activity, of course, you can come on down to Arizona Science Center, check out this and so much more. We've always got people on the floor who can answer your questions. Check out azscience.org for more information. Thank you for watching today. I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science. Have fun.